Welcome back to The Absolute Mom. Today I am going to show you exactly how I have organized all my kindergartners' homeschool supplies. We are using BJU Press whole grade curriculum um, for the 2020-2021 school year, um, but this can work for absolutely any curriculum and it can work for any grade either. So come along as I give you some tips and tricks on how to stay organized throughout the homeschool year. Also, I want to say a quick thank you to each and every single one of you. We have, at the beginning of July, hit over 200 subscribers, which I know is small for a lot of YouTubers, but it has grown faster than what I thought it ever would. My ultimate goal when I first started this was to help at least one other homeschool mama so that she didn't feel overwhelmed. And so the fact that so many of you guys have reached out to me over the past several weeks saying that this has helped so much and this has taken a lot of my stress away is just completely overwhelming and makes me wanna cry. So thank you to absolutely everybody and please keep sharing these videos so that we can help other homeschool mamas also. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Also hit that red subscribe button and the bell notification right next to it so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So this is our second dining room and we didn't need a second one set up so we put mirrors on the wall and such and we set it up as a dance room for our girls to practice. And so right in the corner of it we just added this eight cube and some shelves on the wall to be able to hold all of our daily homeschool supplies. So on the wall there's a TV and a radio and a DVD player. Those are kind of double duty. They can either work for them practicing their dance or I could set a kid up in here to watch their DVDs for BJU Press. And so it works well for us. Um, we do have a separate homeschool room downstairs in the basement that each child has their own desk. We have a huge whiteboard. It's a beautiful, beautiful room, but we just kind of enjoy being on the main level so that we can get other items done, such as daily chores or cooking or what have you during the day also. So real quick, what I end up doing for K4 and K5, there's a lot of crafts that you end up doing. So I've kept a lot of those daily things that we utilize up here on these shelves so that they're nice and easy to grab. If the teacher says we need red, orange, and yellow paint, it literally takes me like 10 seconds to get ready for the kids. So it is so easy and convenient the way I have it all lined up for them. All right, so we'll go with this top row here. All the way to the left, we have a bin full of scissors, white out buttons, rubber bands, little trivet things like that that we may need. Then we have a jar full of markers. I keep that higher so that the kids don't have just automatic access to markers freely. Then we have a thing of magnetic letters and numbers. That isn't something that the curriculum has called for, but we like using it as a manipulative on the side. And then I have a bin full of tape and different glues and things such as that. Behind the magnetic letters and the markers, is my three hole punch and that is something that I do use every single week so I just tuck it back there so nobody notices. On the lower shelf here starting from the left we have colored pencils in a mason jar and I ended up just using the top ring because I think it looks kind of cute. I make sure every week to keep these sharpened so they're all ready for the kids to go. Usually there are two mason jars full of it but the girls are coloring in a coloring book right now. This wooden bin I ended up getting from Michael's. It just has a whole bunch of extra crayons in it. The, each of the kids have their own packet of crayons, but for outside of school time, these are the crayons that they grab. Um, we have four extra rulers, because in my house, I'm not quite sure about yours, rulers go missing, and so they're 25 cents at Walmart right now. I just grabbed four extra. Then in mason jars, we have a whole bunch of pencils and all of these are sharpened and completely ready for the kids to grab. Now they each have at least three of them in their latch mates ready to go at all times, but this is on other circumstances because if you're a homeschool mama for any amount of time to elementary kids, you know a lot of the day can be, I need to sharpen my pencil, I need to sharpen it again. So just having them all ready to go kind of helps defeat that argument right there. Right next to it, 
one behind the other is two things of paint brushes there's a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes for different reasons those are all ready to go as soon as I wash them I put them right back here so that they're ready for the next time then here I got all of these they were pretty cheap from Hobby Lobby um, I want to say last year maybe the year before and so they've lasted us and we paint a lot and so I have all of the main colors and then I have like brown and black and white in the back and then over here tucked behind these are little Dollar Tree bins and these work just beautiful to put the paints into then we have these little six spot holders for paint too so I wash them they go right back here so that they're ready for the next time Then, as I said, we have a DVD player here hooked up to the TV, and that way I have a K4 and two K5s that are doing DVD lead BJU press. And so, if I want to put somebody in this room sitting on beanbag chairs, they can. Um, the radio is for the dance, but right next to it here is our pencil sharpener. It's an Exacto brand, and I have to say, we have had this thing for like four years. It's a workhorse. It, like, we've never had an issue with it. We either got it from Walmart or Amazon. I don't quite remember which one, but I want to say maybe $20 most, and it has lasted forever. Then I just have a little bin with miscellaneous things here, all the remotes for this TV and DVD player. We have some money because we work on that extra. That isn't anything that they're covering quite yet in K5 math, but they know what money is, and so we're working on it. We had made some homemade Play-Doh, and so I have all that sitting in Ziploc bags because they do play with that during K5 math to make telly marks and such. Then we have some dry erase erasers um, because those like to go missing so I just kind of tuck them down in there then behind it I have a laminator this is a scotch brand it's $20 I believe at Walmart and this thing works just beautifully um, I did have the Amazon brand one that I had used for three and a half years and it finally quit working after all those uses so I definitely got my money out of it all right, so right next to that stuff is this little bin. I also got this from Michaels. I love it. It's very, very sturdy. I've used it for multiple reasons, and I just keep on pulling it out for more reasons. So in this is our electronic bin. It has our mouse pad. It has all our headphones or our Bluetooth headphones. Um, usually our Bluetooth speaker is in here, but it's charging up right now. All of our charger cords are automatically in here. And then my three olders have their own laptops that I keep in here so that they don't get broken. Um, these each have their names on it so that we know who's we're pulling out. And then um, they don't have the CD-ROM with it. And so we just bought external CD-ROMs off of Amazon for like $20 each. So nice and easy way to have a cheap computer that will work for school. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these computers don't have a lot of internal storage space. So if your kids are gamers, a computer like this wouldn't work. But these are HP, and they work beautifully for what we use them for. Then, over here, I have a little paper holder. Down here in the bottom is lined paper. My kids like to draw or write or do funny little things, putting stickers on paper and all this kind of stuff. And they know this is a safe paper that they can grab at any time. Next up is where we keep all of our clipboards. And then next up, the things that I am noticing that I need quite often between K4 or K5, probably more K4 at this point, is these are just extra paint brushes that I just bought, um, is masking tape, paper lunch bags, and then paper plates. And so I ended up, instead of putting these in our pantry, I just shoved them over here with the school stuff because that made sense in my mind. All right, now we're gonna look what all is down here because this is the part that is very helpful also. So these three bins of this eight cube is all for my fifth grader. These are my teacher manuals. This is all her work text and then her latch mate with all her extras. This is all of my teacher, like my video lesson guides, my handouts, all that kind of stuff for all four of my kids. But then this part is my K4, K5 students. So what we do, 
This is K4. She has her own latch mate and then an extra lunch pail that holds all her extra supplies. And then this is my K5 students and this is my K5 students. So I'm gonna pull those out and show you exactly what they are. So for the K5 math, um, it comes with this exact set of 100 Unifix cubes. I already had a whole bunch, so I did not open these up. And so I just put these stored aside and I end up using the ones that we already have. And so this is nice and easy for them when the teacher says we need like five blues and three pink. They know exactly where they are because it's see-through. They can see where, what they're grabbing. This was, I want to believe, like $6.97 at Walmart. And it latches and locks in. And this has just been perfect size. It fits in these cubes like perfectly. So then if you have been watching any homeschool YouTube mamas over the last couple of years, you know that these are called latch mates and that they're big in the homeschool families. And so I bought into it at the time and I got each of my kids ones and I'm kind of glad that I did. So a lot of moms end up putting their work texts in here so that the kids can just grab this, but I found just stuff wasn't fitting nicely. And so I ended up utilizing this a little bit differently. Now hers has a clear lid and I really like that because I can double check that everything's in here at the end of the day without opening it. Whereas her brother's I got from Walmart and his does not have a clear lid. So I actually have to open his up and make sure that he put everything away at the end of the day. So they unlatch, they have a nice little carrying handle. And so the lid just comes off. And in the top, I have all these little ins and outs that we basically may need on a daily basis. So watercolors. My tip on this is go ahead and get the Crayola brand or a better brand because if you get Crazy Art or Rose Art, they just don't show up on the page very much. They don't last very long. It's worth the extra money to get a nice set. So each of my four kids has one of these in their latch mates, even my fifth grader, because a lot of times when we do some of these crafts, I let her go ahead and have a break and she is included in the craft because what kid does not love art time? So as I said, they have sharpened pencils all ready to go. She has four of them in her latch mates. At the end of the week, I make sure they at least have three of them ready to go. The phonic and review cards, I only got one set of these for both my kindergartners, and so we know that we just grab them from Sis's um, latch mate and it's all ready to go. They each have a paper ruler because these are nice big numbers and it's easy to see. They have white glue, glue sticks. She put her little bracelet in here also. Scissors and an extra eraser. So if somebody is missing something, they know it's their responsibility. Like I know exactly who is missing their pink scissors because it's not in her latch mate or whatever. And so this keeps them organized or when they're like, mom, we need glue, they know just go straight for your latch mate and it will be there. So this tray lifts out and then you have all the storage space underneath it. So each of my kids have a big packet of crayons. Now your kids don't need a 96 pack of crayons, but mine wanted them and I got them for them and they are loving it. They think it is so fun. Then from Dollar Tree last year, I got the, this file folder. It is a smaller size. Um, this I put extra resources, like paper resources in basically. And so right now they just have a zero to 100 chart that we can review with them. Um, as they get older, we'll put like sight word cards and all that kind of stuff to study in this. But it's nice and easy to keep organized. All right, so the next thing in Brooklyn's Latch Me is her math manipulatives. Now, I only have one set of this for my kindergartners, and so just by chance, it's in her Latch Me. Also, she's a little bit better at keeping organized, and that's probably why the stuff is in hers. And if you need to see exactly how I organize K-5 math through BJU Press, I will put a card right up here in the sky so that you can click on it after you're done with this video. So each of them are in Ziploc bags. They're in different categories. And so they know if they need farm animals to grab a certain bag or if they need shapes to grab a different bag. I got this huge plastic Ziploc bag at um, Target, I think two years ago for like $3. So there's a chance it's still summertime. There's a chance they might have something like this at Target right now. So 
So then also at Target, I got these bigger file folders. And so they are wipeable, they're very sturdy. I got both the twins one of them. And in them are five different colors of folders. And this will be a whole separate video. Um, both of them have the same color of fo folders in the same order. But basically, this is how I organize our five-day school week. And so every Saturday or Sunday night, I pull all the old paperwork out that we've already completed, and I fill these with the new week's worth of paperwork. And this way, it allows them to be very independent during their school day. So again, I will be making a video on this. Keep your eye out for it. It will show exactly how I plan for the new week. These were Target, I think they were $10 each, somewhere right around there. All right, so then at Walmart, this is not something that the curriculum calls for, is this lined paper for them. I feel like for their ages, it's very beneficial. Um, it was only a dollar or two each pad, so I got each of my little kids a pad. This is just one of the cardboard separators that comes between like handouts and the video lesson guides. A lot of moms say for some of the crafts you need some cardboard, so I just kept this as an extra piece so that I have it all nice and ready when the teacher calls for it. So then Focus on Fives comes with 32 little readers for the kids to do. And so this is the breakdown of what's in each unit. I um, just put them all into Brooklyn so that I know whose I'm grabbing it from. I only got one set for both kindergartners to share because I felt like for my kids, they're very capable of doing it. And so they start with um, just pictures with no words at all. And I have to say, we just got done doing our first week. So the teacher went through the first book with them, um, which is still on their clipboard. But she went through so much detail and told the story of this book that it might as well have had words. Like she did an amazing job and then they encouraged the kids to read their book to a couple of grown-ups throughout the week. And then when they are all done, they basically get the certificate that you can write their name on the back of the book to let them know that they know how to read this. So like I said, it starts out with just pictures. They're very, very colorful. Like my kids were so engaged, it wasn't funny. And then by the end of the year, this is 32 and it's different poems, it looks like. By the end of the year, your kids are going to be reading these and that is just so exciting. Like my boy is so extremely excited to be reading. All right, so that's all for the latch mates that I have in there. At the end of the day, we literally just stack everything back up in the latch mate and we close it and it goes right back on the shelf. And so my kids are so independent when they do this because this is nice and light and easy for them to be able to do. They feel very encouraged that this is like their own little special workplace. So then the other part I am going to show you is up here. So I do have Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons right here. We are using that as a supplement. I don't know if it's necessary or not, but like I said, my boy twin is very interested in reading and I don't really wanna wait until the curriculum gets going on it and so we're just using that. Um, I'm amazed at how quickly he is catching on to it. I do really like that book and I do highly recommend it. All right, I'm gonna grab this down off the shelf and I'm gonna show you exactly how I organize the paperwork section. All right, so BJU Press Kindergarten is the focus on fives and that's new this year. We are doing DVD, but DVD and distance learning online, DLO, are the same things. You will receive the same items. Um, so the work text and the phonics practice both came as workbooks. And then you add on the math curriculum. So we did K-5 math and that has one workbook. And so these also have some handouts that I keep in my mom binder here. So these workbooks came completely intact and what I end up doing is I cut off the front cover and I insert it into the front cover of my binder. 
I did write their names up top here so that I know when it's laying on the table exactly whose it is. And then I also wrote their names on the edge here so that when it's standing up in here, I know exactly whose I am grabbing for planning that week. Then the other thing with math, and you'll see this in the math organization, is that they have these math mats that they use with their manipulatives a lot. And so I just tucked it in the back of one of their math um, binders so that we know exactly where it's at and they don't get lost that way. So when it comes time for me to plan for the week, I literally have to open this up and flip to the next page and I tear it out. So the focus on five workbooks do not come three hole punch like the K5 math does. So I went ahead, I did the extra time and I punched them all so that they could fit in a binder because this works very, very well for my younger kids. The other part too that you need to be careful of is sometimes the back of these workbooks have extra things that you need, either manipulatives or stories or what have you, that you don't want three hole punch. And so luckily I caught that and I've just put them over here so that I can grab them as I need them. So when I'm doing my planning, I literally will open up to whatever page we need to start at. I put last week's back in here, I grab the next week's worth, and then I close this up, put it back in our bin, and I'm done. All right, so we have all the work text here, and that's how I keep everything in order. But as the kids are using it, because we're in the living room, we do have a coffee table, but they just enjoy being very comfortable cuddled up on the couch. I end up just putting everything on clipboards for them so that they're able to write. So this is um, all next week's all ready to go. As I said, I am recording as I plan for this week for the K-5 and also for my fifth grader because I do separate planning for both of them. They're two separate ways because they're two separate levels. And so keep an eye out for that video. All right, so there it is, a very easy way to organize your homeschool kindergarten supplies. Like I said, this is through BJU Press, but we have done other curriculums that I've used the same exact order to do it for. So you can really use this for any grade level and for any curriculum. All right, so if you guys enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up so that YouTube will push it out to other mamas. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and that bell notification so that it will notify you as soon as I do get them uploaded. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments or any tips or tricks for other homeschool mamas because we're all here to share and help out each other. All right, I hope you guys have a great homeschool year.